everybody, this is Pastor Dean, and this is Five Life-Changing Minutes. Boy, this will be a powerful program today, if you can grasp what I'm going to be teaching you. Uh, in the Amplified Version of the Bible, uh, Philippians 2.7 is an extremely important verse in any version of the Bible. But this is, this is a, a, a version that really explains the point of this program today. But Christ himself, but Christ Jesus, made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Now, I want you to think about that for a while. He gave up his divine powers. He was here as a man like you and me. And the truth of that verse has not really dawned on most people. They they think, and it's a big mistake to think it this way, that Jesus was able to work wonders and to perform miracles and to live uh, above sin because he had divine powers that we don't have, that is not true. They, They have never really aspired to live like he lived. Some people will say, Pastor Dean, I could never live like Jesus did. After all, he had the he had an advantage. He was God. But they don't realize that when Jesus came to earth, he voluntarily gave up that advantage. And he lived his life here not as God, but as a man. He had no he had no supernatural powers. He had no ability to perform miracles until after he was anointed by the Holy Spirit as it's recorded in the Gospel of Luke 3.22. Now, there's no doubt he worked wonders. Not by his own power. Not by his own power but by the power of the Father, saying, The Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. How did he do the works? Through the power of the Holy Spirit of God. And when he prayed, he prayed not as a divine person who had authority as God, but as a man who walked obediently with God. And as Hebrews 5.7 says his prayers were heard not because of his deity but because of his reverence toward God. Jesus was the divine son of God but he set aside the privileges and powers of deity for a time, 33 years, and he lived as a man on earth. Once you grasp that truth, it will absolutely thrill your soul. Why? Because it means that you, as a reborn child of God, filled with the same Holy Spirit as Jesus was, have the same opportunity to live as he lived on earth. In fact, that is exactly what he intends. If you look at John 17, 18, Jesus said to the Father, Just as you sent me into the world, I have, I also have sent them into the world, meaning you and meaning me. Jesus has sent you into the world to live as he lived. And you know what? Through the, the new birth, he's enabled you to exchange 
the sinful nature of Adam for the sinless nature of God. He's given you the ability and the command to live above sin, to live in fellowship with the Father, to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, and make disciples. Once you realize that, my friend, you'll throw off the shackles of doubt that have held you back. You'll begin to live as Jesus meant for you to live. Not as a sin-ridden son of fallen man, but as a reborn child of the Most High God. Then those around you will actually begin to see Jesus in you. Read First John chapter 3, 1 through 8. I love you so much. This is Pastor Dean for five life-changing... <laughs>